<clears throat> okay, so yesterday they told me I'm two centimeters and I'm 80% thinned out, and it's literally any day. <clears throat> and this is, ouch. This is what <laughs> relaxing looks like when you're home alone <laughs> with a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Can I have kisses? Ow. Give me kisses. Ow, that's my eye. Quit poking my eyes. Uh. Oh my gosh. I set her up on the other end of the couch so I could lay here on this <laughs> on this laid out part. I got her fruit. Yeah. I fed her breakfast bar. I got her fruit. <clears throat> I got her the, yeah, I know. I got her the tablet. I got her blankies. And then I came over here and laid on this part. Yeah, okay. Ow. And literally within two minutes, she's right here. Here's her tablet. Here's her fruit. Everything's right here, right in my face. And she's like on me. So for anyone who says, try to relax. Ow. It is literally impossible when you're home with this kid. Why are you so crazy? She slept until nine. So after I got Adrian ready for school, um, and my stepdad and her left... I went back up and laid in bed till she woke up. I'm just in some button-up jammies. I keep popping Emma. the buttons. Yeah, hi. Hi, sweet baby. Allie, Allie Buck, what's the baby's name? Can you, can you tell me Jax? Okay. Tell me Jax? Daddy. Hey, look at me. Tell me Jax. Okay. Jax. Okay. Yeah, the baby. Is there a baby in mommy's belly? A baby. Yeah, baby. In mommy's belly, huh? Yeah, baby Jax. You're not going to know what the heck to do with that I little baby. Know. I know. Yeah. Who's on your jammies? Uh. <clears throat> Who's on your jammies? Who is that on your jammies? On your belly? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> huh? Is that Dora? Aja. Dora. Who else is on your jammies? <laughs> Who, who's that? <laughs> Boots. Yeah. Aja. I know. Dora and Boots. Aja. Like I, I, I swear she knows. Like she can tell that something's going on, but she doesn't know. Like she doesn't know what it means that there's gonna be a baby here. She loves babies though. But yeah, trying to relax. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep them in there till Thursday, because my mom gets home from Florida Wednesday night. She's been gone for a couple weeks helping my aunt. Um, they got my aunt situated. She was in a hospice center for a couple of days, because she didn't need to be in the hospital anymore. And she's been doing radiation. I think they said she's already done like five radiation treatments trying to shrink the tumor on her spine to relieve some of the pain um, so she can actually walk because she still can't walk. Um, and then last night they got her moved to her home. My mom and my cousin <clears throat> like scrubbed floors and rearranged things and the hospice came and put in um, a hospital bed in the living room and like whatever other equipment she needs. And I think they said, I think my mom said that my cousin and her daughter are going to be moving into my aunt's house so that there will be someone there 24 7 to help take care of her. And like if she needs to go to get her um, radiation treatments at the uh, cancer center, I think hospice can take her. Someone they arranged for her to get over there if my cousin can take her. <clears throat> I think, I mean, after she has these last five radiation treatments and she has to decide if she's going to do chemo or not which i think she's debating because since she has it and like can't the cancer is in so many spots i don't know i don't know it's a waiting game my mom got her situated they got her moved into her home last night and i guess the hospice center she was in for a few days was really really nice um like i said she's home she got home last night at her home she has a bed in the living room. And she's a smoker, and the whole time she was in the hospital, she didn't smoke, so hopefully she's done smoking, because that's like over two weeks of no cigarettes, no nicotine patch, nothing. Which she's been smoking forever, so that's huge. So hopefully she doesn't get tempted to smoke anymore. Well, she probably can't. She can't really go outside. Well, I think she smokes in her house. I don't know. I haven't been to her house in a few years. I used to go to Florida twice a year, every year with my parents, but then I had to become an adult and move out and have kids and a family of my own, and I haven't been back since. But I don't even know what she's doing over there. Easy, that's the baby swing, huh? Is that for the baby? <clears throat> so my mom 
She flies at, she gets back in tomorrow night at like 9, though, not till late tomorrow night, so. If the baby wants to come tomorrow night, like in the middle of the night, that's fine. Or any time after. I just want my mom to be She's filmed, she filmed both of my girls' birth. Um, because I just wanted them filmed. And so I would like for her to film baby boys if she has time with Allie. It was crazy, even though we had it all planned out. And I was being induced, like everything went crazy, it went so fast, my mom was like running down the hall, and she's like, and the nurses were outside with their scrubs and stuff on them, and she's like, is Angie? And they're like, yeah, they're like, hurry up, you've got about 30 seconds. She literally ran in and started filming, she didn't take her coat off, because I was like, already pushing Allie out, like I only pushed for like five minutes and she was out. But she happened so fast, so hopefully, I don't know, I just hope she's here. And I hope when he's born, I hope everything's okay. I know babies can have issues even when they're when you carry them full term, but with him being a month early, like if I have him here in the next couple of days, I mean that just makes me nervous that he's gonna have issues. Now, Adri, I was induced a week or six days early with her, and she was in the uh, <clears throat> DQ for like five or six days, but because she was jaundiced, but she still she had to be in there with the goggles on under the blue light. I could only hold her like every six hours, and it was for like twenty minutes to feed her. It was terrible. They wheeled me over from the delivery side to mom and baby side by myself because I saw her for like 15 minutes when she was first born, but when she would breathe, her trachea would suck in. But I was in labor for her for 15 and a half hours, and they said, you know, during labor, there was just some um, distress and stuff. So, like, when she would breathe, her trachea would suck way in. So, like, I saw her for like 15 minutes, and they took her away, and I didn't see her again until, like, midnight. They did, like, a, they found dry blood and fresh blood in her belly so they had a tube down her nose so jay came in they showed him where they took her so i could stop and see her and when i got to see her like on my way over um to the other side of the floor like they wheeled me over they they ring the chime and it plays rock by baby through the whole hospital whenever a baby's born like and i got wheeled over without my baby because she was in the special care nursery with a tube down her throat and i got to see her for like a second with a tube down her, and that just broke my heart i bawled because like people want to come see me, like there's no reason to come see me. She's not in here. You, no one can see her. No one can hold her. So like, everybody was waiting so long for my labor, for me to have her. And they said my mom, my sister, and Jay were in the room. I think they were the only ones that really got to see her. I don't think they got to hold her. I'm the only one that got to hold her at first because then they, like I said, they after like 15 minutes they took her away, and then the next day we got to hold her for a little bit, and then she. Because she was in my room for a few hours, and they took her her newborn pictures, and then her jaundice level went up, so then they took her back to the special care nurse, and then nobody got to see her or hold her. It was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how this one's going to be. That was my first one. Like I said, Allie, she came so fast. Adrian was at preschool. My mom was going to bring her up, but when I got to the hospital to have Alex, there was a ban on the hospital because of the influenza outbreak. So, Adrian couldn't come see her. Adrian didn't see me or the baby. Like, we FaceTimed. But, like, I didn't even get to see her for, like, three days when I finally got home. So, she didn't get to, to come up and see her. Like, all the adults did. So, everybody got to come up and see Allie and hold her. But poor Adri didn't get you. That broke my heart. Like, when I got to the hospital and went to check in and there was a thing saying no one's allowed and, you know, no visitors under the age of 15. It's like, are you kidding me? I don't want to be induced today. I just want to go home. I'll do it another day. Because <laughs> Adri was so excited to just get out of her Valentine's party at school and then come over to the hospital and meet her little sister. So who knows what'll happen with this one? But <laughs> and with Allie, I had gestational diabetes, so like whenever she was hungry, I had to wait for someone to come in and check her sugar before she. So she would just cry, like her little pathetic little cry that sounded like a little kitty cat or a little puppy, while we we're waiting for someone to check her sugar before I could feed her every time. But yeah, she ended up being fine. No diabetes issues with her. Mine went away as soon as I had her. Um. Yeah, we were only there for two days. Adrian we were there for like five or six, but um, I was in my room for like two days, and then they moved. They let us stay in this empty wing of the hospital where there was like no doctors, no nurses, nothing. It was like out of a freaking horror movie. And Jay and I sat, slept in that room. We had like our own room to this old whole wing of a hallway. There were like bathrooms and stuff, and you could walk down. There was like a nurse's station, but it was like abandoned. They didn't use that wing of the hospital for anything. So it was like creepy and dark, and you'd hear like weird noises and. We would just order pizza and, like, just hang out in there. And then every so many hours, I was allowed to go down. I could feed her every three hours, but 
if I went in there and actually held her and fed her, it was for 20 minutes. And then the next feeding, three hours later, I had to just kind of feed her in her little in her little crib thing in the under the blue light because she would only come out of the light for 20 minutes every six hours. So, like, on those feedings, a lot of times I just skipped it because I'm like, that was hard to not be able to hold her. And, like, as soon as she'd hear me talk, she would reach up and grab those goggles and rip them off. And they had to keep putting them on. Like, no, you have to keep those on because that blue light would hurt her eyes. Like, literally, and not even a day old, and she's ripping them off to see her mom. Like, it was terrible. It was heartbreaking. Like, she just wants to see me. But, yeah, so only getting to hold her for 20 minutes every six hours. That's when I went in there. And I just sit there in the rocking chair and feed her. And it's crazy because the girl that did my hair, uh, my friend Nicole, who owns the hair salon, she was in there. She had her son, like, a few hours, I think, before I had Adri. But he was really early. I think she had really high blood pressure, if I remember right. He was, like, four pounds. He was teeny tiny. He was bright red. I think he was hot. They had to, like, cool it. Was it? They had to keep him cool or keep him warm. I don't remember. So every time i go in there to feed Adri, I'd, I'd check on... I check on uh, her baby, and she'd do the same with mine. It's so crazy that we were in there together with both of our babies in the special care nursery. <clears throat> but it's like I didn't work, so I got to stay there, and Jay got to use time off. So we just stayed there, and her and her husband, they would leave. I mean, their baby was like in an incubator thing. Like, if they could just put their hands in where Adri was in, like, an open little crib just under this blue light, and she had to be in just a diaper with goggles on. So, yeah, who knows how this one will go. Oh, are you getting mommy's toes? Uh, yeah, mommy's toes. Hi there. Oh. What? Uh, what? I'm cooking a poo. What, did you go poo poo? Uh. How did you go poo poo? Hey. Is that you? Oh, I smell you. Tell me. You gotta tell mommy. You gotta say, I pooped. You gotta tell mommy when you go potty. Tell mom. Tell mom, I pooped. Are you gonna tell me? Tell me how you say, I pooped. Oh, okay, you're going to go down the slide and smash it all over? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change the diaper real quick. What? Yeah. Can you tell me how you say, I love you? I love you, sweetie. You got a yucky nose. You got a poopy diaper. Ew, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, you do. Ew, yeah. <laughs> Ew, yeah. <laughs> Ew, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go wipe a yucky nose. I feel okay. I'm just super tired. When I first got up, I felt super nauseous, but I ate a banana, and I've been up for a few hours now, so now I'm just kind of, look, my belly's all hanging out. <laughs> my pants are falling down. I was trying to show your baby brother in my belly. You have a balloon? Yeah, is that your balloon? That's from Adri's birthday, from January. I know, look, there's balloons all over from Valentine's Day. I know it, look. My house is full of balloons. I'm sure we'll have it's a boy balloons real soon. Oh, look. I know you love your balloons. Say hi, baby Jax. A balloon. Can you tell me Jax? A balloon. A balloon. Yeah, I see. Whoa. So today is the 26th. Oh, Allie, easy. Jeez Louise. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Or don't hit my phone. No. <laughs> Are you making your balloon go? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> You're being super good. Other than climbing on me, which you don't understand. You can't do that. That's just the normal, huh? Woo-wee. Okay. I just bought some of those cheese that snapped the other day at the grocery store. Oh, easy. I want to try them out. They're, it says cheddar, sour I did, cream. I, did, I, did. I know, you're up close and personal. Uh, they can see your yucky nose. I'm up close. Oh, really? Uh, oh, really? I was close. What else? I don't. What else do you have to say? Uh, Are you telling the story? Well, you had a neutral grain bar, and you had strawberries and raspberries and some milk. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Can you tell me how you say strawberry? Yes. Yeah. Strawberries. Look at these girls. Ah. Uh, People oh, always talk uh, about you. Uh, what? Uh, That's Allie. What's your name? Alex. What's your name? Say Alex. Alex. Tell me Alex. 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 Yeah, that's you. You're Alex. I do too. Oh, yeah. It's the Alex. Uh-huh.
Oh, yeah. Is that your eye? No. That's your eyes. Where's your ears? That's your eyes. Where's your ears? Yeah, there's your ears. Where's your nose? Oh, yeah. Yeah, your nose. Where's your mouth? Eyebrows. Your mouth? Yeah. Where's your tongue? Eyebrows. Where's your tongue? <laughs> where's your pretty hair? I see it. Where's your pretty hair? Where's your fat belly? I wish. Yeah, hey, Billy. Where's your stinky toes? <laughs> there they are. I love you. Uh, I know, there's your stinky toes. Uh, yeah, I love you. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Mom? Uh, to the... Oh, can you blow him a kiss? Mm. <laughs> You're so... I'm back. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go change your diaper, okay? Yeah. You have your own little language, huh? <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Like I said, I feel pretty good today. I was nauseous when I got up, and I'm super tired. I'm trying to get up without using my stomach muscles. Oh my crazy hair. I just took my ponytail holder out. I was getting caught on my pillow. Oh. I didn't even take off all my makeup last night before bed. I was too tired. We did skating party. I cleaned. Filmed uh, my 36 week update. Filmed packing my hospital bag in the baby's hospital bag. And yeah, I got to bed super late. <laughs> super late. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Jay was playing his guitar, so she came running back here and was pointing at her guitar. Are you playing your guitar like daddy? Huh? Show me how you play, Allie. I got. Show me how you play your guitar. Oh, okay. I got. Okay. Short term. Are you tuning it? I'm gonna talk. Yeah. I'm trying to get your toes out of the video, but I can't. <laughs> Daddy's toes. <laughs> Good dad. <laughs> now you're daddy. <laughs> Oh, you're trying to play dad's. She's trying to sneak in there and play your dad. 